Hey guys, it's John here again, inside the Vintage Geeks toy room, taking a look at the Hoth display. All these Hoth Rebel soldiers going up against the Imperial might of the Snow Troopers and Hoth Dudes and an ad and Snow Speeder. But today we're going to look at Shang-Chi, Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Master of Kung Fu. Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Demo Goblin this time. He looks great in the packaging. Master of Kung Fu Shang-Chi in all his martial arts glory. He's got him on the side of the box there on both sides. The bottom's all the warning label crap. You know, where it's manufactured, blah, blah, blah. Nice picture of the Shang-Chi action figure. Shang-Chi is a master of martial arts and a warrior for justice. In uh, five different languages there now. Build a figure, Demo Goblin. Demo Goblin looks fantastic. You can get the Game Verse Velocity Shift Spider Man, Spider Armor Mark III Spider Man, the Superior Octopus, Marvel's Vulture, Marvel's White Rabbit, and Shang-Chi himself. So those are the figures you can get. The uh, Demo Goblin chest piece and Cape are what come in this particular set. Come with this figure. And the belt on this guy looks amazing. The cape is awesome. I mean, just looking at this chest piece makes me want to collect Demogoblin. The only other figure I want out of the set is Marvel's Vulture. So it's kind of like, I don't know, you know. I kind of want to see Superior Octopus just to see what he looks like. But... So it's kind of like, do I buy all the figures just for the bath parts, or do I buy the bath parts online? I don't know, because I'd be selling an awful lot of the figures. I definitely don't need the White Rabbit or the other two Spider-Mans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shang-Chi looks awesome, though. Check out these pants. They are fantastic. His face looks great. I love the flailing, uh, what do you call it? headband ribbons like just flailing around behind him i think that looks really cool his head moves the articulation on this figure is pretty good i mean they gave him all the martial arts attributes that you need for a martial arts figure the arms move in and out in that butterfly joint so like the power rangers how they all have this butterfly joint they decided to give it to shang chi which is cool because I think most of the figures should have this butterfly joint. Shoulder moves up and down, rotates 360. The uh, elbows are double jointed elbows. There's a pivot also in the bicep there, whatever you want to call it. The hands have a pivot and rotate and, you know, bend and everything. Lots of good movement in the arms for the hands to get into any position you might want them in. Make it look really cool. He's got a chest collapse here. This can move down. It clicks and snaps into position, so it's kind of, you know, sturdy. It'll hold its spot when you put it there. He's got a, a you know, rotation at the waist. The legs cannot do if Jean-Claude Van Damme split, though. That is the one downfall. He cannot do any splits, in fact, because his butt gets in the way back here. So that's as far as he can go that way. And you saw that as far as he could go to do the Jean-Claude Van Damme, which I think is a downfall for this character. The legs need to be able to do those splits, and unfortunately they cannot. They got double-jointed knees here, and you've got the rotation in the upper thigh. There's also a rotation down here that's right where the bottom of the pants are. So you've got this thigh rotation and a foot rotation, which is pretty cool. And then the feet can also do their typical movements here, bending around and the uh, joint that they have down there. Even though mine are stuck on this joint, both feet will not move. Ah, well, I don't want to break them, you know. <laughs> my my luck forcing figures to move, it'll break. <laughs> I still want to know if anyone has a trick for loosening up these joints without breaking them. 
So his nunchucks, here we go. We can take a look at those. There's one that's angled in an L shape. And the, the disappointing thing is they don't droop. They're not like, you know, they're, they're fixed in this one position. So, yeah. Hmm. They have a nice dragon head on the end of them. Golden dragon head. Which is kind of cool. Hope you can see that in the, you know, close up here. Golden chain connecting two red-handled dragon nunchucks. Yeah. A straight one and an L-shaped one. So we'll see how those go. I don't know. And we've got hands. So we've got a whole bunch of different sets of hands. We have the open palm flat hands here. So you got both left and right for those. We'll put them on and we'll take a look at all these. But right now we'll just go through the different hands that we have. So sort of like holding onto a gun. Those are the ones that hold the nunchucks. Yeah. And then what do we got? We got um, some clawed hands. They're like, like tiger. Tiger claw, right? So there you go for that one. I think he has snake in his that are that he comes with snake on, and that's tiger. And then he's got the fists, you know, fists of fury. <laughs> if you want him to have a fists, yeah. There we go. There we go. Of course, because yeah, you can see here he's got the the two. You know, they're like Spock. You know, he's got the. But I think those are, those are supposed to represent fangs, right? It's like a snake venomous snake yeah so let's get to putting them in some poses now i'm personally going to use to display my figure i'm going to use one of those star wars foot stands where you slide his foot in there and you can get him in some pretty good poses that way and he'll stand up and stay stood up because he's got to look dynamic you know he's got to look like he's in action at least I think he needs to be in action, you know. This is a really cool action figure. I really, really like this. I'm digging this guy. He's going to go up next to uh, Iron Fist. Iron Fist is sitting up there in his contemplative position. And I think this guy's going to go right up there with him. So put the tiger claw fists on, hands on, give you a look at that. I'm going to do different positions with each set of hands so you kind of get an idea of the versatility of this figure, you know. And we'll do some 360s on each, with each set of hands in a different pose. You can kind of see the different ways you can kind of put this figure when you want to put them on display. Or if you're just playing around with them, you can do all kinds of kung fu moves. Classic kung fu moves from different, you know, of those movies you've seen. Like Flying Guillotine and Fist of the Palm or what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But you ever, did you guys ever see Flying Guillotine? How many of you have seen the Flying Guillotine? That's a good one. It's such a good one. Classic. If you haven't seen Flying Guillotine, you gotta go get it. It literally is a flying guillotine. It's a guillotine on a chain. <laughs> and they fly it through the air and chop people's heads. People's heads off. Their heads go flying. I'm laughing too much. I can't talk. <laughs> but we had a group of friends and we all got together and watched Flying Guillotine 1 and 2. Yes, there is a part 2. And uh, had a blast that evening hanging out together watching Kung Fu. <clears throat> and here we got the fists, so you can kind of do a regular, you know, a regular stance. If you've ever taken some classes, you know how you know this stance. You're familiar with it. So you can kind of do that. The whole class is ha, who, ha, who, ha. <laughs> yeah. If you've ever taken a class, you're familiar with this stance. You've done it. 
pretty cool. I actually kind of like this position. I mean, it might there's there's a, there's a urge to put him on display like this just because he looks, you know, proper. And then you've got the hands that are going to hang on to the nunchucks. So I just want to sort of show them in this ready stance here, and then I'll put the nunchucks on here. There we go. He's kind of flailing around the room with the nunchucks flying around. you got to sort of get the idea that he's in motion here. This is a snapshot. So, like, the nunchucks are supposed to be spinning around, you know. Because otherwise that one is sort of defying gravity, I know, but... Let's say he did like a flip and he landed on the one foot and he's coming back around to get you. But that's the problem that I'm finding with the nunchucks. I'm They're a great idea. They're a cool thing to have in the set. But I'm kind of like, how exactly do you pose the character with the nunchucks and have it look really cool? Because to me, they just kind of look there. They're not... Something's off about them. I don't understand what it is. But I can't quite... Like, it doesn't quite work when you put this one under his shoulder, under his armpit. You know, like he's caught it. And that other one just kind of... You know, like, if you, if you put it in a position where gravity is a thing, it looks weird. They just do. They don't... For some reason, they don't look right to me. And when you're flailing them around, it's just like... I don't know. I thought they'd be way cooler than they actually are, I guess. At least to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I Am I judging it too harshly? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to have them without nunchucks. I'm going to do something like this on my display. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. And uh, hope you guys subscribe. Come back. Stick with me as we do more and more and look at everything else that comes into my toy room. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Got a lot of Marvel guys coming up because that's what I've been seeing on the shelves lately. This guy was at Target and Walmart as opposed to those Fantastic Four figures, which I've so far only seen once at one Walmart or one Target. Only one Target for the Fantastic Four. So I'm, I'm wondering if those are exclusive to Target. And then they didn't get a lot. Because I don't know why no other store seems to have them. But then these, this series, the Gamerverse Spider-Man figures and the Master of Kung Fu here, Shang-Chi, I've seen at both Walmarts and Target stores. So I just haven't seen the Vulture yet. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. See ya.